Good afternoon, Britton Deerfield. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy during this time. I hope you're having a, an opportunity to share in some great summer memories. Um, I know that this has been an unprecedented and unusual span of time we've been in, um, and I hope all of you know that you're certainly missed here at Britton Deerfield Schools. This afternoon, I wanted to take this opportunity to share some information with families. We have been receiving a number of emails and phone calls, uh, Facebook messages, just wondering, you know, what's going on, what's really happening. It's been um, a long summer, but a productive summer, and um, we are still in the process of working on plans for the return to school. I'm sure all of the information that is out there, I know there's a ton of it, and sometimes it's hard to decipher what's what. Um, and so I really felt the need to um, share with you where we are and what our plan is. Um, I'm going to be posting a letter on our school website that is just an informational piece and specifically for our families who maybe don't have access to Facebook videos. Uh, and our goal certainly is to communicate with everyone I know that the length of this letter will not allow me to put it in an instant alert format. Um, so that's why I'm choosing to do this video as well as posting it on our Facebook page. Um, I'm going to just move forward with uh, sharing that information with you. Certainly after that, if you have individual questions, please feel free to email me anytime at Stacy S-T-A-C-Y, dot Johnson at bdschools.us. I try very hard to return emails within 48 hours. And if you have any input for me, I would specifically like you to share that. I know that we did take time to complete a district survey um, that came out earlier in the summer and we're certainly listening to all of our families and community members um, when it comes to making plans for the future. Um, we really appreciate your time in doing that. I know that there were some lengthy questions and some feedback required, but um, it was very, very helpful. And we are very thankful that we have a community that supports what we do here in education um, and who have a love uh, uh, for education and kids like we do here in BD. So um, I'm just gonna read this letter for all of you uh, so that you have a framework um, in your mind of what's going on. And again, if you have questions afterwards, please feel free to reach out. I'm going to be providing information regarding Britton Deerfield School's progress in moving forward with a plan for returning to school in the fall. For the 2020-21 school year, each district is re required to submit a COVID-19 preparedness and response plan for approval by each local school board of education by August 15th, 2020. Governor Whitmer's Executive Order 2020-142 gives school districts a framework to support returning to PK through 12 education. This executive order states that school districts must adopt a COVID-19 preparedness and response plan that aligns with the Michigan Return to School Roadmap from the COVID-19 Task Force on Education and Return to School Advisory Council. As the governor stated in the executive order, there is no one size fits all solution. What works in Lansing may not work in Sault Ste. Marie. Districts will retain the flexibility to tailor their instruction to their particular needs and to the disease conditions present in their regions. Currently, the Britton Deerfield Administration and the Lenawee County Superintendents Association are meeting multiple times each week to evaluate data and research, review the requirements for all six phases outlined in the Michigan Safe Start Plan, and discuss best practice solutions to ensuring a safe start to the coming school year. If our region is in phases one through three, school will not be open for in-person instruction and all student learning and activities will occur remotely. If our region is in phases four or five, in-person instruction is permitted, but with safety requirements and protocols. Phase six reflects the post-pandemic period where in-person instruction is permitted without leniency in the necessary safety protocols. Currently, we are in phase four. Districts are required to develop three plans for returning to school in the fall. A plan for learning in phases one through three, a plan for phase four, and a plan for phase five. 
Districts must also consider three methods of delivery instruction. One plan is for virtual only. The other is for face-to-face and the third is for a potential hybrid approach. While BD is currently working with the other Lenawee County districts on a countywide approach, please know we must prepare a plan that meets the needs of all families and students within our own communities. All county districts have been active in meeting together during June and July with state and federal legislators, community health officials, and legal counsel as we prepare for the upcoming year. Ideally, in Britain Deerfield, we would like to provide both a virtual option and a face-to-face -face option for our families in phases four and five. Our focus is to use results obtained in our district survey, to be transparent with our families, and to keep our children at the forefront of all decisions made. While the past few weeks have brought with it some challenges and some distractions, please know our work has continued behind the scenes on how to safely get our students and staff back to school and how to comply with all executive orders and other applicable governmental authorities. Britain Deerfield will have a plan in place to provide education for our students and meet the requirements of all. You can expect information to be released on our school website by instant alert message and through our upcoming Board of Education meetings. As our plans develop, we would greatly appreciate parent and community support. It would be helpful if, as questions arise, you could direct those questions to the administration or board members at the Britton Deerfield Schools. We are very happy to assist all families during this most unusual and difficult time Thank you so much for your willingness to remain committed to our district. We can't wait to start this year with all of you as one Patriot Nation. Thank you and be well.